for example, you can have them split up right here at this point. And maybe do a little rotation. It's all up to you, actually. Everything seems to be going wrong. Right. Now we play the animation, it's splitting up, and then returning back to the back. All right. Now these pieces as well are going to go in the back. So just select them. Select a link and again to the backbone. And now you can see them rising as well. I know this is kind of a Optimus Prime sort of look with the plates in the back, but it's a little different. Now you need to move them down. I think I'm going to have them under the small plates. So let's see. Maybe a little more exaggerated, like 45 degrees here. 45 degrees here. And bring them a little closer in. Pull these down a little. Out. Take them back. Something dramatic, I guess. Let's see how this works out. And again, you can have a lot of, you can spend a l many hours just working on this animation of how it's going to disassemble itself. For example, I think I'm going to have some sort of a rotation, like so. For example, at frame 3, I'm going to have them still about right here. Each of them are going to be rotated. 50 degrees this way. Again, this is a very basic transformer. You can make yours as complicated as you want to. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to go run through this real quick. And as you can see, it begins to assemble itself and connecting at the back. Now, these parts, like I promised, are going to be in the front two parts right here and we're gonna link this one to this shoulder and this one to this shoulder this shoulder and now there as well um, 12 now drag forward Tatum Something intimidating, I'm guessing. I'll move forward, give a little chest. Now we gotta split them up again. Around here. Around here. Oh no, I'm doing this by the eye, but you should have it. You should have your bypass centered at zero. So this would be 18, and this would be negative 18 for you. But for me, as always, it's messed up. Let's do some sort of cool animation for this as well. Uh, I think I'm going to have to roll them forward. And by this point, they're going to be rolling forward, dropping down. Whoops. You need to always have a zero keyframe, and then you mess with these down like so and maybe move them under be pretty cool maybe do a little rotation like 50 degrees just do it consistent so 
you won't have some dissymmetry when you don't want it. And and you may want to do some sort of a jump before it stops. Like I want to pick them up, both of them. Pick them up and you put them back down at 14. I don't know, something. I'm just doing this real quick, like I said. Nothing too serious. Now these two plates are going to go on the, f on the front of the chest. So again, we're going to link them to this bone. It's the same backbone, but we're going to do it to the front this time. Frame 12. Forward. Like so forward and I think I'm gonna have to split them up by 20 degrees 20 and 7 meet at this point somewhere like so Another animation, like I always do. For example, we can, by this point, we can drop them very low, turn it around like so, and it's not even blind for some reason. And in the end, it just goes to the chest. Now, like I said, this is the very basic process and this could be applied to any part of the car as in wheels, I don't know, fenders, anything. I don't know what to do with the windows, you can probably just stick them somewhere like these plates right here. And I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for listening, hope this helped. Once again, I'm sorry for being so late. What can you do, right? Alright, I'm saving this. And...